The reason that we have such uh, need to do lighting is that your eyes can see the human face very well. A camera reads only contrast. A camera can only read 60% contrast. That means from the darkest dark to the lightest light, 60%. Otherwise, if you take the brightest bright and then the darkest dark, you uh, find that everything else just becomes dark. Now, our biggest problem in human beings is that uh, most of the lighting comes from above, like here. You can see the lighting comes from above and our eyes are set in, which is where we want to tell the story, right? Remember that from last week? Where the eyes go? Where the eyes go? Uh, upper third, right. Nobody say right there. No, the eyes go in the upper third. All right. So we want to make those eyes sparkle because that tells us the story. Now, unfortunately, when we look at uh, the way light gives us in a room, Sure, we could get an image in a camera. Sure, Adrian's getting an image right now. Tony's getting an image. Everybody's getting an image. But a camera reads 60%. And what's happening? The brightest spot when you look down is right here at the tip of the nose. And the darkest spot is right in here are the eyes, right? Because the eyes are inset. And unless you look like that and put the camera up there, and that's a little inconvenient. So we're going to have to change that. The other thing is, is that when you stand like I am here, the background, now you can distinguish it, but when I shoot with a camera, I'm going to find that I blend into the background. And particularly when you have nice dark black hair like I do, and lots of it, it tends to uh, go into, who laughed? Go into the background. And so the problem is, is that we need to do something that's going to highlight that. And also, we also yes, said we're going to do what's called three-point lighting. So three-point lighting. And that's, we're going to simulate just as we did last week when we were talking about sequencing. Remember wide tight medium? Remember where we look at eyes? Remember how we sit? We're going to do the same thing with how nature lights us. So let's pretend we're outside, OK? So what happens is, I'm going to show from the side, let's uh, put in our person here. What's your person's name? Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> Thank you. OK. <laughs> now that looks like Jeff. Now it's for sure like Jeff. No, I can't because I got to demonstrate something here. Jeff without glasses. OK. All right. So this is a person. And here is what were our purposes on three-point lighting. OK. The sun up here. OK. And this is going to come down. And the whole purpose, if we're going to put up a light there, we're going to call it a key light. We're going to put it as high as we possibly can and aim it down. And the whole purpose is it's going to put a little gleam in the eye. OK? So we're going to put a light up there because, remember, our eyes are hidden, right? So we're going to show you that in just a moment. So we're going to put a little gleam in the eye. All right, now the next thing is that we're going to do. That's going to take care of that. That's going to put a little shadow here, and it's going to put a little shadow there. We'll get rid of that in a moment, OK? Now, the next thing that we're going to do is just like what happens when the sun hits, it reflects off of the building or anything behind. And so we're going to put a backlight. And the backlight is going to be roughly one half the power of the key light. Because remember that what's reflecting back is not um, what's reflecting back is not nearly as powerful as that key light. Everybody see that? We'll demonstrate that when we put a model out here. Okay, so that backlight 
And that whole backlight purpose of it, it's going to be equally as high, is it's just going to put a little halo up there and it's going to light up the shoulders a little bit. And so what it's going to do is press us out from the background. Because again, a camera reads contrast, and so if I stand by that background, you're not going to see the shoulders, okay? Now, we still have this little mess of these little shadows here, and we've done just two-dimensional light, and so we're going to put a fill light. And our fill light we're going to put on the base, and I'll show you that. And the fill light is going to just scatter light, and we're going to shoot it probably through an umbrella, or we're going to make it very soft. And so its whole idea is it's kind of all that light that scatters off the sidewalk, off other buildings, off of things like that. Okay, that's going to be our principles, and then that's going to mute these shadows here, right there. That's going to mute these, these shadows. And so what's going to happen is we're going to have three-point lighting. That's our three points, key, back, and fill. Okay, now I'm going to tell you the way, this is the way all television is done, and the way that any show you've ever watched is done. Each other. And there's the street light again that's kind of, and they always stand in front of a store window. Have you ever noticed that? And what is that store window doing? It's the backlight. My favorite was always in the old show Police Squad, where they would always stop in front of the world of wicker. <laughs> and they had like wicker couches and all that in the window. But they would always have the, and that would be the backlight. And you go, whoa, well, that looks pretty realistic. And then the ground is all wet. So while they were eating, Geez, you know, a hurricane came through. And you go, wow, that looks really natural. Okay, so now you know. Key back and fill, okay? You see that? And why they do it, and every show does it. Every single show, not necessarily watered down. Um, my favorite, they have a Cadillac commercial going on right now. Any of you lived in Los Angeles ever? You did, okay, Shauna, anybody else? You did, Brandy? Okay, you know the uh, Second Street Tunnel? Mm -hmm. Okay, they love to shoot in the Second Street Tunnel because it has two banks of lights. They use one as a key, they close the tunnel, and one as a uh, fill. And this car is driving through, and there's water on the base of the tunnel. Now, what kind of a tunnel would have water? For, and people, well, that must be a really quite a Cadillac because it drives through that tunnel. Water all underneath there, and people just watch it. Now you know. Now you're never going to be able to watch TV again. All right, so you can see, okay, and don't look at the light. You see you've got a sparkle in the eye. That's exactly what we want to do. And I'll just show you the difference between, um, okay, I'm going to, I'll get around the, I just don't want to tip anything over here. Okay, okay, the difference between that and that, do you see? We've got the sparkle in the eye. Where it's identical light level, you see the difference. Now, okay, that's not going to, okay, now you can see where we have that shadow under the neck. Okay, and I put this on, that's our fill light, but it's still a little too bright, so I'm just going to move this back a touch. Now it's, we're not going to use an umbrella on this one, because we don't have this one doesn't have the umbrella. So now that's about right. You see, if I move it any closer, well, we could try.